Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Inventomar, and here I got together all of the pieces and parts to build the printer. I have pretty much everything here that I need that I can think of at the moment. I'll go off and just kind of name all the parts that I have that I need. This, I'm going to use this as a pointer. This is one of the 5mm rods that will run the, I don't know if you can see them down here, the little gear things. Or, what's that called? Pulley. <laughs> Anyway, so I got six of these stepper motors up here. Let me move that up here. I got six of these. These are just the NEMA 17 motors. And behind there's the aluminum plate. That's the going to be the heat bed. And there's the cat. She's weird. She likes to play fetch. Well, now she's not going to because the camera's going. Anyway, <laughs> these are the X and Y bearings. One of these is cracked, this one. I'm going to go ahead and make an, I already made a new one here, but the uh, this one's got a crack in it, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put these together. They're basically just putting the bearings and the screws and everything all together at once. And here I have the Z bearings. I got these together. Okay, anyway, I've got the ramp support here. The uh, Drivers for the stepper motors, the uh, Arduino, the kitty. Can we get your toy? Go get it, huh? Go get it. She loves being in everything I do. <laughs> the PTFE tubing. These are the corner mounts for the. The main part of the printer, actually, the these hold the rods in on the X-way axis in the corners. Of course, I got the frame here. I finally got that all put together. That was really, really difficult for me. I've got a cyborg extruder, and this is actually a double extruder. And the motor mount plates. These are the parts that hold. I have a whole assembly here. Grab that. This is the whole thing assembled the belt sits on the ends here and it tensions and it's all held together with a M5 bolt in there and just put on top so that holds it in all sturdy it moves around a little bit but you can tighten it I haven't really tightened it yet I just put it together for an example but those all go together and for the heat bed I was thinking about using just heater blocks to heat up the big chunk of aluminum but it's way bigger than I thought I don't know if that's gonna work or not Then I got the rod mounts for the bottom axis and the motor mount for the bottom axis I have these one of each they got different colors but <laughs> I don't know what I did with the other one I'll have to find it but this is for the to mount the bed plate to it the rod and axis mount with this thing. This I got these off of the uh, Banggood at a pretty decent price. <clears throat> and the motor mount actually this, this is the drive gear that sits on top of the actual rod, the five millimeter rod, that drives both axes at the same time on both ends. And one for each side. So it's going to use a total of six of these little pulleys. And I measured and calculated out <coughs> excuse me, the uh, pulley length that's going to be for both of these. I got these little tiny belts that are just the G2 or GT2 belts that are the exact size that I need. Of course I got these for the PTF tubing that go on the carriage of the this is the main main part of the printer this is the, the entire assembly comes off this is both of the e3d clones that I got but these will be sitting on this this goes on the X and Y axis and that goes in there and the bar actually goes through the middle I haven't designed any uh, cooling ducts or anything like that. I'll probably do that later, but 
I could probably mount those on top here because the bolts are actually inside of there. I don't know if this thing will focus or not. But <laughs> That's the main idea. These are in there really good. I'll have to do wiring and all that later on. And I got the... These are to mount the lead screws to the motor. And these are just uh, 5 millimeter bearings that fit on the rods. These are an early design of the bearing that I did. I think I have a thing of a reverse file, or I did a video on the practical bearing thing for 8 millimeter rod. And that's basically the type of bearing. It's just three axes on it, so it's balanced on all sides. And these actually run really smooth on there. And with these type bearings, I got these to go really well. What I did is I got them on there, and some of them were a little bit too tight. So what I did is I took my heat gun. I have a soldering gun heat gun combo thing that I got. It's like sixty dollars from China, and I put the heat gun on there and just kind of while it was on the rod, and just heated it up, and then started moving it while it was on there, and it smoothed out really nice. So it's almost a perfect fit on there now. And as far as the all the hardware and everything. I'm going to have to have you have a move kitty. Her name is Boo. She's a pain in the butt a lot of the time. She loves her toy. <laughs> it's this little pine tree limb that's covered in thread from her playing with it all the time. Oh, now you don't want to fetch? What's up with that, huh? What's up with that kitty? Anyway, let's <laughs> take a closer look at all the hardware that I have for it. These are parts that I ordered the wrong size that are the, for an 8mm tube Oops. and I got some little tiny end stop switches those are better than the, my current printer they have nice smooth action on them with the wheel For I got some 5mm washers 3mm washers if I need those I have a bunch of these little three millimeter insets. I'm actually only using those on the on the belt tension things. Kitty, you need to move out of the way now. You're helping me? Okay. <laughs> Got more of these. I heard a whole bunch at once. These are the bearings for the three millimeter for the bearing slides. The uh, Hot end here, I ordered a bunch of the wrong bearings. These are actually four four millimeter bearings. That's these ones here. They're four millimeter diameter on the inside. They're three millimeter wide and eight millimeter all around. These are eight millimeter all around too, but there's only three millimeter on the inside and a four millimeter width. These are the main five millimeter bearings that I'm going to be using for the rods and the belts to pulley on on the op opposite end of this. I'm going to have two of them doubled up for the belt when I get to that point. And got a whole bunch of M5. I thought I only ordered 50 but apparently I ordered 100 so I'm going to have enough of those. I don't need to order more. And those are 20 millimeter length. These are 16 millimeter uh, M4 bolts. These are 20, 20 millimeter M3 bolts. These are 40 millimeter, 16 millimeter, and 10 millimeter M3 bolts. I got some springs for the bed. I don't know if I'm going to use M3 or M4 yet for the uh, bed leveling with the big plate because it's a pretty sturdy plate. These springs, I ordered them and they're really st stiff. So I don't know yet. I got some 608ZZ bearings the skate bearings that are coming. These are going to be for the lead screw to go around. And what else do I got here? Of course I got M5 nuts, M4 nuts, a whole bunch of M3 nuts. This pulley is over here. And yeah, for the most part this is everything. The uh, power supply that I got up there, that's a 360 watt 
supply and the uh, stepper motor that I got I got six of those stepper online actually I've, they're not sponsoring this or anything but they have really good prices I got those off of eBay actually almost all of these parts I got off of eBay <clears throat> but for the uh, heated plate I'm gonna try these out first to see if they'll work I don't know if there'll be enough power to heat it up I tried one of them that wasn't screwed in that's what I got these bolts for except I just got them today the uh, longer ones these weren't quite long enough because when I ordered them I thought it would count the uh, length actually counts with the head in it so these aren't long enough the ones I got are long enough anyway they're six millimeter and they'll hold the uh, I'm gonna drill and tap the heated plate and put those on there with heat compound uh, like for a CPU processor and see if those will hold on there and heat it up. I did put one on there with just uh, three lithium ion batteries in series to make like 12.4 volts and it got hot but it didn't really heat up the plate that much. I'm thinking if I get four of them possibly even five of them just spaced out evenly and everything that they'll actually heat up well. Maybe. If not I did order four of the PCB uh, heat plate that I'm using for my current printer and with those uh, that might work I also ordered some Peltier uh, those little chips I have one somewhere I don't know where I did with it but those they're the ones that you put electricity to it gets hot on one side and cold on the other side and I ordered uh, five of those I'm gonna see if those might work because those actually get really hot and I have a whole bunch of mock-up things. These are ones that I printed first. The uh, This one, if you can see on here, the difference. It's kind of hard to see through the camera, but I put these little edge things on there to make it more rigid. Because these ones, this is ABS, this is a, the a PLA, but the uh, ABS ones, these broke off really easy. I had one that just kind of snapped. Anyway, they're the same exact size and everything. The ABS is a little bit smaller because the ABS sh shrinks. But the uh, I use these for mock-up to get the good spacing on the frame. And one thing I noticed, I'm going to actually modify the models before I post this. I plan on posting all of my parts and pieces that I made on Thingiverse once I get everything made and I know that it's working for sure. But the uh, angle iron that I used, the problem that I had with it, if you look right here, I took this to the grinder and made an edge on there so it fits smoothly in the thing because if you don't like this one it rocks back and forth in there quite a bad it's the sharp edge on it because the angle iron that's one thing I had when I was welding it together the angle iron was just curved so much in the middle that it didn't sit flush, flush with the other ends and so I had a lot of times this is actually the second uh, cage thing that I built for the whole thing. The first one I'm actually going to use is the table. The uh, yeah, the, the other one it's just off size and it's, some of the things were twisted and I really wasn't that great at welding. I'm still not really that well, <clears throat> not great, but I'm a lot better than I was. I mean the welds don't look the greatest if you look at, <laughs> at these. They're not not that great. If it'll focus. That's uh, everything for now. I'm going to go ahead and show how I put together the bearings here. This one I got to redo because it's cracked. So I'll go ahead and get that put together. <laughs> 